Hi everyone, Donut here. I've got a little shooting breakdown for you today, then afterwards I'm going to jump on the stream where you guys can come join me in watching the world premiere of the first female T-Rex caught on camera. Body camera, that is. In La Crosse, Wisconsin. That's right, everyone. The La Crosse, Wisconsin universe has expanded and the lore gets even deeper. From my previous videos made on La Crosse, Wisconsin, we saw our duo T-Rex, Noah, and Zan Man. Whoever is riding Lacrosse Wisconsin this season figured they'd diversify a bit and now it's official Lacrosse canon that a female T-Rex has joined up. Okay, I'll stop shitting on Lacrosse for two minutes while we can break down this shooting that happened in Seattle, Washington. Guess what? It's Seattle, Washington. So naturally, when the guy was shot, everyone was mad. Naturally, when the body camera footage was released showing that the cops didn't do anything wrong, everyone was mad. <laughs> Twitter was angry, and I got blocked by a couple people. We could have been friends, Brett. March 6, 2022. At around 8 p.m., 911 received several calls of gunshots going off in downtown Seattle. What caused these gunshots, you might ask? A mentally ill suspect with a Mosin Nagant. You know, good thing Washington just banned any magazine over 10 rounds. I only wish they would have done that sooner because this entire incident could have been prevented. Anyways, our suspect purposefully crashes his car into the Henry Jackson Federal Building. This is a 37-story building in downtown Seattle that over 2,000 federal employees work at. There are a lot of alphabet boys in this building. Our suspect had recently spoken with police several times about how he wanted to speak with the FBI because he thought there was a plot to murder him that was led by his ex-pastor, his ex-wife, and the Brazilian Mafia. Needless to say, our suspect had some mental issues. Which again, does that make him more or less dangerous? It's still a guy walking around shooting off a of Mosin a gun. Guessing that's why he chose the building, the whole correlation between him wanting to talk to the FBI. That's just not how you talk to the FBI. So he gets out of his car and he randomly starts firing into the air and at the walls around him. What is your emergency? There's an active shooter on 2nd and Marion. I am not hurt. I don't know if there are people that are. Can you see Can you see this person? I did see him, but I fleed the area because he was actively shooting into the street that I was driving on. Okay, can you give me a description of this male? Yes, he was white with a black cap, a black zip-up hoodie. I just want to take a quick second to point out how fucking stupid these people are. They stand there and watch him shoot the rifle all over the place. Then they stand there and wait for the crosswalk while he's still shooting the rifle. Then they slowly walk across. Police arrive on scene and sprint towards the location that the suspect was firing the rifle. When they get there, the man is laying on his back with the rifle in between his legs, trying to shoot himself in the head. Hey, Seattle police! Somebody else, I can't know if you saw out there. Hey, Pull the air, pull the air. Stop, stop here. 200 block of Marion. We have one detained on the north side of the street. One is proned out right now. Standing by for units. You got police up on top of a stair set looking down on the guy, and you also have police on the ground hugging a brick wall. This is not in our suspect's advantage. Two, back up, get out. I'm guessing him trying to shoot himself doesn't work out or he was out of ammo, so he stands up with the rifle and runs at police. Out now! See out of police! Put it down now! Drop the weapon! See out of police! Put it down! Put it down now! I got the car, I got the car. Trying to shoot himself in the head. Put it down now! Put it down now. Put it down now. Do Don't do it! Put the hands up!
looks pretty much like suicide by cops, seeing as how he was clearly trying to lure them there, then trying to suicide himself before being a dick and making the police do his dirty work. According to Twitter, that situation could have been de-escalated. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Let's hear what you think about this shooting in the comments below. Like I said, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator watching the world premiere of the first female T-Rex caught on body camera footage in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Oh God, I hope her and Noah don't procreate. That would be the worst baby ever. If you want to help support the channel other than coming over to Twitch and watching me point and laugh at meth heads in La Crosse, Wisconsin, then please, by all means, go over to Bunker Branding and buy some of my merch. I am also back to posting daily on the vlog channel, so check out Donut Vloggerator. Other than that, everyone, please have a fantastic day.